Hi guys, Zeth here, and welcome back to another episode of Terra Firmacraft. So, I uh, almost died last night. There is an absolute jerk of a bear right there. So, ran away, crafted a couple spears, brought you guys back in because, uh, yeah. Bear fights can go very poorly. Warped zombie burned to death. Well, good for you. Uh. Bear? Why'd you go that way? Uh, go. Okay, then. Yeah, I tried to block him off uh, with the hay, or thatch, or whatever, however you want to call it, <laughs> he didn't really care, he just, uh, I thought that blocking sight would help block pathfinding for him, didn't really matter too much, so, yeah. Now, we do have some wheat seeds over here we can grab. And I should, in all honesty, clear a spot and take up the actual wheat, too. I don't... I'm gonna have to get rid of that, I guess. It's the only way I can think of uh, actually picking up the wheat. And there's, of course, something else I could have thrown out, I'm sure. But, well, threw that out. So, there, there's that. <laughs> so, in addition to having those pumpkins over there, I want to say... Anil will not let you do that. I could kill you instead if you prefer. I think that might actually be the easiest option. I, I, I'm not sure what happened. He just... A sheep just exploded in front of me. I, I couldn't think of a good way to get his wool if he would not let me shave him. So I, uh, yeah. Also got... Oh, I didn't even see these. That, yeah, I got at least enough for a pickaxe now. We've got pumpkins, which... I always like having pumpkins. They're a good light source, assuming you can uh, chisel and make sure they don't show up, because they're pretty ugly. <laughs> and... Actually, let's... well... Yeah, we have plenty of water still. Oh yeah, that's another thing that changed. You can actually shift click your stuff in and out of the That's That I think is more tetrahedrite. That's beautiful. <laughs> Let's make sure we get everything we can from the sheep. Because I know the sheep bladders can actually be used for something I'd like to get into this time around. The uh, yeah, leather water sacks. Because those are actually kind of nice. Tallow. I'll have to actually make some of those. But, uh, yeah, it's it's night again. There we are. 
kind of. I guess it's still storming, but you know what? Better than uh, better than storming and night. But we do need two things before we can actually get this copper. First thing, more trees, because yeah, I've only got four wood. That's enough for like half. <laughs> half of a uh half the amount you need let's actually see how much copper we have in total in the area i guess i should say how much copper nuggets that we have in total because i can't get all the copper we have in the area yet because a lot of it is up there and i saw a little bit in the ground there might also be some in here but I'll have to set up a campfire and get some torches for that. Cool. And it's actually kind of nice, because I was looking around this area, and I was like, dang, this looks like a nice area to actually live. Or at least to set up for a while, and it's looking like I'll actually be able to set up for a while here. There's enough resources that I, I'm actually going to need to set up to process them, I think. And if we're lucky, we'll also be able to, well, if we're really lucky, I guess I should say, this will all be rich copper. Now that would make my day. That'd be amazing. And we've got more corn, or maize, and more taters. Cool. And I want to say I saw some trees nearby-ish. So I do want to go find those before we actually 100% commit to this area. Because if we commit and we don't have trees, well, I mean, we do have uh, saplings, so we wouldn't be screwed. They just take a little bit longer than I, I care for right now. <laughs> That's actually not all that important of stuff. This is actually going to be more important to grab, I think. Yeah. Okay, so I want to say the trees were out this way. Oh, right there. Beautiful. Excuse me, Bar, this, this prairie ain't big enough for the two of us, and uh, I'm not leaving. So, you are going to have to, hopefully. Okay. Thank you for kicking me down towards my javelins. Definitely thinking I might want to get... <laughs> Metal javelins. Ow. Especially with how much uh, combat it feels like I've had to do already. There we go. It's also good because bears drop large hides too. So that's actually really good. Okay. What kind of wood is this? I think it's spruce. Yeah. Let's... I'm trying to remember how exactly spruce looks. I think it was... Yeah. It's kind of pinkish. Vaguely. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, we definitely... We used this in the food storage building last season. Now, we also stumbled into a new type of stone. I want to grab one, well, uh, want to grab some more wood, though, before we, uh, actually... Mm. I do want to, I just need to <laughs> quit talking and go satisfy my curiosity. Okay, what kind of stone are you? I think it is... Oh boy. 
Shell's good. Shell actually looks pretty good. We used a fair bit of it in a, in the last season. Which means I might actually <laughs> actually not use it at all. Because I forget if I've said this, but uh, I actually did spawn a couple extra worlds before I spawned into right before I started recording this one. Just to make sure we weren't gonna live in granite again. Because as much as I like how granite looks, it'd be kind of boring just to do it exactly like I did last time. I mean, I've I've seen YouTubers do that, and it's like, oh, you don't... Yeah, please? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I was honestly a little bit worried about being able to find our little thatched hovel again. Glad, I, glad my fears were completely unfounded, though. I can't believe this is only the second or third episode, and we've already <laughs> we're already about to get a good amount of copper, hopefully. So that's definitely nice. Let's see if we can't get the fire started before before we're attacked. And I, there's got to be something I need to make. Can't really think of anything though. Shovel. I don't really need any tools. Well, I mean, I need all the tool molds eventually. I, actually, yeah. Ingot casts are gonna be the best idea right now. There. There. Okay, let's hurry up. I don't want to get ambushed. Because that would not be so much fun. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'd rather not die. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Now, other thing. Excellent. Ow, ow, ow. Can I get... Can I just be peeking out enough? I'm pretty sure I'm able to be targeted right now. By mobs. Actually, if I do... This, I should be okay. Yeah, we're... Looks like we're gonna be all good here. Just gotta... Wait for some stuff to cook. Ooh, boy. Toss you in there. Calcolithic. Which I don't really remember what it is. I'm going to guess it means you have a pickaxe. Because I do. Whew. Now let's see how lucky we're going to get. That's at the very least not poor quality. Regular, and that is more than perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Well... It's it's both more than perfect and absolutely perfect, I guess. I don't know where I'm going with that. <laughs> Either way, there's a fair amount of copper around. So, we are not, not too poorly off right now. Now let's see if we cannot get some more. I think we basically just have to... Start out with just getting the, uh... Oh. Lost at least one piece right there. 
I've actually thought about turning that off, the uh, the destruction of the blocks. Um, decided I'm not going to because it, it's annoying, but at the same point, it's kind of fair. Because if you if you don't really protect your ores very well, you kind of deserve to get them destroyed. It sucks at the beginning because you can't really do much to defend them. Except just by uh, practicing good mining techniques. But, yeah, still. And we should have... Yeah, we've got trees planted. So we will have lumber coming in at some point. So I think we could actually... I think we're actually going to set up a little bit of a base here. Okay, what can we toss in here? Bones. Bushes. Uh, and I don't have any... Yeah, no more extra sticks I can toss away. Those aren't going to go in. It's like there's <laughs> so much I could toss in there, but so much that doesn't want to. Doesn't want to go in. Eh, oh. It's cleaned up a bit better anyway. Well, let's actually get a little bit of a hut going. Now, I could just put it on the grass, but I'm not a barbarian. Let's have a stone floor. Three. Four. Uh... Yeah, that'll be good. Swap that out. So I want it to come out over to here, I think. One, two, three, four. Well, that <laughs> actually worked out exactly how it should have, but not how I, not how I thought it would. I don't know why I didn't think it'd happen that way. <laughs> Uh, okay, there we go. Also, a quick reminder. Any gravity block will destroy ores. I forgot dirt did too. Rest in peace, like, six ore pieces. Four. That was... That sucked. <laughs> okay. Now, we should be able to fill in the rest of this as we go. And I want... Hmm. We've got to have some good wall building material. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do for that yet, though. So I guess I'm not going to worry about it yet. Well, that's close. <laughs> got uh, attacked and chased by first... Uh, an armored skeleton. I think it was bronze armor. That hurt. That hurt a lot. And then a uh, spider. That also hurt quite a bit. And uh, managed to break both my stone hammer and my stone axe. And uh, a couple hits on my pickaxe. <laughs> so yeah, that, that almost was very bad. Hopefully we don't find that spider again, because I don't remember if daylight makes them passive if you actually fought them when they were aggressive. So that could be bad. That could be really bad. <laughs> okay, that looks different. Can't just be me. Out of my way. That is different. Okay, what are you? I think that's Sphalerite. Maybe. Yeah, poor Sphalerite. Which is... 
tin? No, zinc, which is not what we want. <laughs> yeah, that's that's for brass. Well, at one point, or at some point, we are likely to need it. Because brass is used for not just... Uh, not just for red steel, but I am going to be adding in another mod, which I talked about earlier. It's Ugh. Professor Flaxbeard's wondrous steam-powered mod. A lot of it, uh, it comes with like a musket stuff like that, so that's actually going to be pretty useless. I'm pretty sure anyway. But it also comes with some pretty cool stuff, like uh, item cannons, things like that. And I do have Pneumaticraft. And I think Pneumaticraft also comes with that kind of stuff. But, I mean, if you can have both, why not? <laughs> Got some gold there. I might want to grab some of that gold. But first, I need to get down and... I want to see if it's been... Is, I don't remember if it's rained or not since I set this down. Nope. We still have a fair bit of water in here. Well, in the uh, one underneath that, anyway. So it's not a... Water is not a danger at the moment. Still, though, it would be nice to not have to worry about it at all. But I am going to do some processing. We've got a lot of iron to do. So I think we're going to place the first level of schist cobblestone down. And going to call the episode after this. Well, that's fast. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And I will see you guys. Later. Bye-bye.